Hey, Billy B here with the Falcon 120 build. I've been busting butt on it here the last couple, I don't know, week or two. I have done my elevator, which I put one HS 645 in here, Metal Gear. So I have one servo on my elevator. Then I put HS 82 Metal Gear where the elevator servo would go. You can run a nice 90 degree. A lot of the turbine guys on my field do it this way. Seems to work for the turbine guys, so I did that. Got the, both of these are done. Uh, already pre-wired. Uh, one's elevator, one's rudder. There's the other rudder servo. Bolt that right together. And I got the wings are done. Uh, I put, I don't even know what kind of uh, struts these are. Uh, my partner Doug gave them to me. And they were longer, the strut, see, they were real long. They were about this long, so I cut them down, redrilled them. They work great, uh, air up and down, digital servo on aileron, digital servo on uh, flaps, they're out of the F-16, uh, wheels are off the F-16, tam brakes on it, they're all plumbed, they're all wired up, ready to go, uh, wire for the booms. The, I'm not going to take my wings off, uh, I, I've been reading a lot on the threads, a lot of the guys need to take the wings off to get them to fit in their cars. I'm fortunate, I got a big uh, full-size Chevy van and I have one of those uh, airplane car, airplane haulers, I don't know what you want to call them, they look like a pop-up trailer, but they open up like that, I have one of those too, so I'm going to put this together and I'm going to leave it together, I'm not even going to put connections on my air bells in here. I also put on Air Sally Rogers uh, stiffeners, these are carbon fiber stiffeners, if you can see them, they go right here. Uh, anybody can use them. The turbines or the EDF guys makes the back end of this plane so much stronger. Um, I have Rogers uh, carbon fiber mounts on here and also Air Sally's nacelle which already mocked it on there, pre-fit everything. I gotta paint my nacelle yet. I don't know what color I'm gonna paint it. I have to I have to put in latches. All I have to do is put in two latches on the nacelle and it's done. So I, I want to put latches so I can take this off. Mounts just like that. Great job on these, Roger. You also, anybody that needs to get these brackets or the nacelle, you can go to my website, usarcjets.com. I have the nacelle, the mounts, and the stiffeners in stock right now. So if you guys need them, you know where to get them. Uh, I've noticed on the newer Falcon, uh, I've been watching a lot of builds on these Falcons. It seems like they've been changing these uh, nitro planes. It keeps upgrading them or whoever builds them for them. Uh, mine has mine had two bolts on it from the factory and, and on the wing and had blind nuts from front and, or I'm sorry here and here carbon fiber piece back here and two spars and but everybody you have to glue the formers in you can just pull them right out when I redid the front nose on mine I put a firewall mounted type retract in mine and had the two big hardwood blocks in the front here. I just grabbed it with a pair of pliers and went like that and they popped right out. So one good hard landing, they'd have, they would break right out. So you have to get in there and re... I use high saw on everything. It's just, it's the best glue out there. It's better than epoxy. It adheres to the fiberglass and the wood. Um, so the nose gear, I don't have any pull-pull system. The firewall mounted has just a pull lever on it. So you know, I hate to pull. I stink at setting it up. So everything's been reinforced. All I have to do is plumb it up, put the air valves in for the brakes and the and the retracts and put the receiver in and I'm almost done. I have almost the radio set up as I've installed servos. I set the radio up as I went along. It's just easier that way for me. And so and I'm putting a ICE 160 I got for it. That was a nice cheap investment. But I have the ICE 160. I'm probably going to put it inside a fuselage. I'm going to put it probably right underneath this door. And I'm going to vent this door somehow because I don't want to put it hanging out on the plane. And that's about it. The Falcon will probably be done here in the next week or so because I have a new project I want to start. And I have to get this one done before I start my new project. So at least even though it's we're going to get a giant snowstorm as we speak right now, the snowstorm's starting. So I'll be stuck in a house building for the next three or four days. Um, I want to get this all done even though I'm not going to be able to fly it for a while. I mean, I'm sure we'll get a nice day here in the next month or so so I can hopefully fly it or maiden it. 
And but I'm not gonna finish putting it together because it's too big. When you put this little, it's so small now. You get the wings and stuff on it, and the boom, it's giant. So it takes up too much room. So I'm gonna get it like 99% done, put it together one good time, test everything, and then take it apart for the rest of the winter until it gets nice. Then I can start my new project. But for now, this is the Falcon build. Hopefully, I'll do one more video once I get it all together and, and be able to run it, maybe run up and down the street or something like that, do a test, a real test on it. But that's it, Billy D for now on the Falcon 120 build. Go to usarcjets.com. This is my new project, or going to be my new project. I have to get my Falcon done and I get to start my L39 here. So check back on my videos to see the, the build video on this. Uh, I should probably be starting in the next month or two, so check back to my YouTube video and, and check out uh, usarcjets.com. That's where you can purchase this beautiful jet from. It's Billy D. Thanks a lot.